about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 Moment of silence. We need a moment of silence. So we fuck up these ways. Let's go, What's baby. good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. Now, we got a special guest in town, a longtime supporter of mine. He's in town for a nice event. And he hit us up and asked to come train. And man, luckily, we're free. And here we are. So go ahead and introduce yourself, Brian. Tell Brian, me where you're from, everything. AKA Roca, Queens, New York. Came to see this gentleman right here. This is like a big thing on my bucket list. They want support of Appreciate you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? As we see, yeah! this morning time. As you see, we're here with some chest and tries. So with no talking, let's get straight to it. First and foremost, shout out to Queens, New York. I've never been, but hopefully I can get there very soon. Do a meeting group so I can meet more of my New York people. And you already know, he's on that pump and grind pre-workout right now. He says his favorite is the sour gummy. Matt Good. Yeah, man. And we're on the pineapple mango right now. All right, guys, tigerfitness.com, pump your subs. <laughs> All right, homies and homets, you already know what's up. Full routine written at the very bottom of the description for the ones that happen to give a fuck. So we're starting off the chest workout with a nice pump. Now I'm gonna keep it real with you. Uh, you know, um, I got three sets written down in description, but sometimes I'll go four or five sometimes even six sets, you know, especially when I'm cutting, you know, I just got done doing a mini cut for my 37th birthday. I wanted to come in looking good for my 37th. And when you're cutting and those carbs are dropped, man, it could take you a while to get warmed up and to get you a good pump. So, you know, keep that in mind. You know, I do an isolation movement for chest day to get a nice pump and that could take three sets, sometimes even six sets, just depending on how much sleep I got you know, the nutrients I got, you know, how much sodium's in me. All these things play a part when it comes to getting a good pump. Keep that in mind. So started off with some peg flies. And here we are doing some incline dumbbell bitch press. And on the very last set, we went to complete failure. And as you see, I got the homie Brian giving me a spot. And I did the exact same for him. You know, I don't go to complete failure every set. But I try to go to failure on the last sets. Okay, you know, at the end of the day, guys, if you want to get volume in, you got to leave one in the tank. Leave a couple in the tank, man. So I try to go to failure on the very last sets of the exercises. All right, so here we are doing peck flies. As you see, a nice wide arc. I'm not going to get into the hippie shit right now, but, you know, a lot of things are angles, shapes, geometry. Look at that big wide arc. I'm trying to get as close to 180 degree wide arc as I can with my elbows. As you see, I'm opening nice wide on the bottom and I'm bringing those elbows in at the top, coming in a nice wide arch. You feel me? You want a golden arch. And this is the last movement for the upper pecs. Like I told you guys many times, three dimensional physique, three dimensional world. You want a complete physique, complete package, Hit those muscles from a variety of angles. So that's, what we, that's exactly what we did. We got a nice three good movement for the upper pecs. And here we are with the lower pecs. One hand with hammer strength. Getting a nice squeeze. As you see, I'm getting a nice squeeze on every rep. If you want to bring out that hard looking muscle, you want to bring out that development, and you want to keep your chances of risk of injury to a minimum, start working on that form. Make form great again t-shirts are in stock at beastmode316.com. Not quite sure how many we got left, but we got some in there. Fuck with your boy, man. No swinging, no jerking. Let the muscles do the working. So we did flat hammer strength, and here we are on the decline. That decline is another angle. Really good for the lower pec. That lower, lower pec, you know, the very low part of the pec. You know, right where those abs start at. Right at the ab area, the very, very, very lower part of the pec and a little bit of the outside of the pec. But you gotta make each rep count. You gotta pause on each rep. None of that throwing the shit around. 
generating momentum. Make sure you squeeze on each rep, especially when you're doing the hammer strength. That's the whole purpose of the hammer strength is to really make sweet love to the muscle. Here we are doing cable crossovers. You just saw Brian doing his, and here I am doing mine. All right, really good way to finish off those pecs. As you see, pausing on each rep to help bring in them cuts and them details, all right? Now, throwing in some tries, okay? This right here is the overhead tricep extension cable version. You can do dumbbell version or cable version. I actually alternate. You know, next workout, I'll most likely do dumbbells one arm at a time and then I'll most likely go back to this, you know, cable version. I like to do both because uh, there are great benefits to cables and free weights. So I have to mix it up and get a variety of both of my training to get an overall quality, well-balanced physique. All right, and here we are doing some tricep press downs. As you see, pause on each rep, really make a sweet love to those triceps and don't act like you don't see it. You see the triceps working. You see them working, every rep, really squeezing. Really making sweet, sweet love to the muscle. No swinging, no jerking. I'm letting the muscles do the motherfucking work. My boy over here, Brian, doing the same thing, getting his press downs in. As you see, we stacking over here. Now, doing the reverse grip version of the press down. Like I told you earlier, angles. Get those angles in. You want to hit as many muscle fibers as possible. Stop thinking one or two exercises is gonna get you there. Hit them angles. This right here is a superset, by the way. Reverse grip press down with some dumbbell kickbacks. As you see, triceps popping, really making that shit beg for mercy, okay? Hit them angles. More workout videos coming soon. I got a leg one coming next I just recorded. I wanna bring back the Ask Beast Mode show, guys. You want me to critique your physiques? Bring back that community feel? Send your videos to AskBeastMode at Hotmail.com. Let's bring back some fun, okay? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. As you see, we just got the fucking shit up. Yo, appreciate you, Chris, coming all the way from New York. Big fan, love the workout. Like I said, I'm explaining to from Ninja Turtles. Man, we throw your movements for years, bro. Like every angle. Love it, bro. Now, how'd you like the workout? Love it, bro. That's just... Well, yeah, I love it. The pump, the rep range, the my muscle connection, the control every rep. Guys, yeah. man, one thing you can't, I train with a lot of my supporters. I have, I just didn't record them all. You know, I had guys that, you know, I trained with and they couldn't really keep up. You know, then that we all got to start somewhere. But this guy right here came <laughs> up with every set, every rep, man. It's kind of cool to see that there's people out there really living this high volume lifestyle. It's very rewarding. You know what I mean? Very rewarding. And one thing I like about high volume meals, you don't have to go extremely heavy. You know what I mean? You can really, you can keep volume in life forever. We can always add extra set. We can always add 20 minutes to our workout. But we can't always hit one rep maxes every workout. That's gonna tax your nervous system over time. You know, at the end of the day, this should be fun. Bodybuilding should add to your life. It should be rewarding. You should look forward to your workout. You shouldn't have to get amped up and have to psych yourself up to go do a workout. You know, I mean, it should be something, it should be a great experience for you. Okay, so anyway, it was nice to meet you again, yeah, Brian. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get to New York, so yeah, hope I see you one of the meetups, man. Come. You have to pull up, bro. Shouts to everybody in New York, shouts yeah. to Queens. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe. Buy 30 of them bitches, cause you know Bruno needs those treats. Oh, that got you boy.